Hey lovelies, hey my people, if you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Ronji and I've always been this big, now I'm trying to lose weight and I'm sharing my wonderful journey with you, so far so good, we praise the name of the Lord. Today I wanted to concentrate on my favorite exercises and that is weightlifting, okay? I don't do a lot of, you know, big weights like the ones you see in gym and whatever, this beautiful round stone here is about 5 kgs, if not between five and six that's another thing with using these kinds of weights you are never sure of exactly what they weigh but if they are manageable to you go ahead and use them this is about uh, five to six kgs and i've always used it today i had to carry it from home because sometimes i reach in the field and i find there are no stones to use remember we said you can use anything that's available it doesn't have to be fancy as long as it can get the job done go ahead and use it baby as long as it helps you hit your goals okay so today i wanted to concentrate on weightlifting and i've shared this bef with you before that it is my favorite kind of exercises okay i don't like the jumping ones but i like these ones okay and uh, another reason why i love weightlifting so much is because they help build your muscles and it's the muscles that eventually help burn the fat in the body. And so I started with this. I said, let me do a bit of weightlifting. Let me concentrate on weightlifting. The logic behind this exercise is that it works on your back. It works on your legs. It works on your arms as you lift it from, you know, uh, as, you, as you lift the weight up. It helps build the muscles in your arms. And so it kind of works the entire body. For me, it does the trick, okay? And so you lift it up. And then you place it on the other hand. It goes down like that. Just follow the pattern. It's simple enough. You do that repeatedly. If you feel tired, you take a break. But because they are my favorites, I did it a long time, okay? Now, you can also choose to carry it like this, you know? You just quote carrying it like a baby like that on front with both hands. I don't know which one is easier. I think I like the one whereby I do with one hand and then I have to pass it on to the other hand to, to, to take it to the other side. But this is fun also. Yes, these are the ones I like, okay? Oh, I can do this the whole day. <laughs> I love them. I love them so much. I enjoy doing them. Now, just to remind you something as I show you how I was weightlifting during the day. Weight loss is a process. It's not something you wake up today and you want to be a certain weight tomorrow. It took you a long time to gain that kind of weight. It took you a long time to put on the kind of weight that you're having now. And if you're looking to shed it, it's going to take double the amount of time because it's not an easy process. This is just a part of it. Exercise is just like 20% of it. The major part and the hardest part is with diet. What you're supposed to eat, how you're supposed to, how you're supposed to eat it. Uh, the quantity matters a lot, you know. Sometimes we cook good food, okay? But then we are not supposed to eat a lot of food. So portion matters a lot at the end of the day if you're going to lose a few pounds here and there. I took my minute. Remember in my last video I told you if you feel tired, take a break. Always take a break. You know, do some stretches, rest. It's a life it's a lifestyle thing. It's a lifetime thing. So you don't have to kill yourself. If you feel you're tired, take a minute and you know, breathe in, breathe out, regain your strength and then you can continue again, all right? Yeah. What was I saying? It takes time to lose weight and so don't be in a hurry. One thing I would encourage you to do if you're out there and you're looking to lose a few pounds, keep consistent, okay? Don't do it once, don't do it twice and then you give up. They are hard, I know, especially if you're starting, but don't give up. Just do something small every single day. You don't have to, if you are lifting these weights, you don't have to lift it 10 times. If you're starting, you can do five times today. Five, six times tomorrow, seven times the next day, as long as you keep on moving, you keep on growing, okay? Don't pressurize yourself, just keep it consistent, don't lose hope, don't leave it on the way, keep going, keep going every day, make sure you do something towards it, and gradually you'll start seeing the changes, okay? You'll start noticing the changes on your body, people will start noticing that you're losing weight, and you know, questions will be there like, what are you doing? How come you're losing weight? Uh, what secret is there? There's no secret, my dear. It's just eating clean, you know, avoiding all junks by all means. Dehydrating, uh, sorry, not dehydrating. Hydrating well, taking lots of water during the day. And then, you know, exercises, all right? Exercises here and there. 
So at this point I was tired. I said, let me go give you guys a smile. A workout smile. <laughs> Hello there. Thank you for staying with me this far. Stay with me up to the end of the video because I'm going to show you what I ate at the end of the day. Okay. All right. I'm taking my minute. We said take as many minutes as you need, as long as you need them. Now. I was only intending to do the weights today, but you know how it is with exercises. Sometimes they become addictive. It's like going into a bar, intending only to take maybe a glass or two of beers. You end up taking four, five, six. Before you know it, you don't know how to drive back to your home. If you're lucky, some don't even remember the route to their home. <laughs> anyway, who is me? I ended up doing these crunches using my same, same stone, okay? It wasn't very stable, but I did a few crunches here and there. This is whereby you place a leg on top of a stool or on top of a step, a stable step. I, did, I used my stone for the same. And then you bring your other leg up and you repeat the procedure. It helps with burning the fat in the tummy and, you know, just general leg exercise, okay? So we did a bit of this and I was grateful that I had come this far. It's not easy, oh, it's not easy. It's not easy. One thing that motivates me when I'm doing these exercises is that I am not where I was yesterday. I don't look like I looked yesterday. And just because I'm seeing some changes, that is enough to help me to want to do more. Okay? This is another way you can do your weights. Just lift the weight up and then keep on doing the crunches, the standing crunches. By As you're lifting the weight up, it's working on your hand muscles. It's testing how your muscles are strong at the hand. And then... You can choose to do it another way also. This is also a different way you can stretch using the weights, okay? This works on those meat that, around our, uh, that usually form around our rib, our rib areas. It helps burn those meats there. Did I say meat? It helps burn the fats around our mid areas. <laughs> ah, tell me, tell me, talk to me in the comment section. What keeps you going? If you've been exercising for a while now, what is it that keeps you going? What is it that makes you feel like I cannot stop this? I have to continue. I have to keep on going. What is your number one motivation? Share with me in the comment section. I'll be so glad to read from you. For me, it is the fact that I feel healthy at the end of the day. First of all, I feel happy. I feel like my moods have been boosted. Look at that smile. It also helps with, you know, a lot of things. And then I feel healthier by day as I continue to do it. Look at who wanted to just do weights alone. Now I'm here doing these steps. I've started slowly and with any other exercises, start slowly. Okay, just start slowly and then build the momentum as you go. So I started by just walking slowly. That, that, that step there is a bit steep, okay? It's a bit steep and so it makes the exercise even harder. Okay, now let's go. Let's go, Ronji, go, Ronji, go, Ronji, go. <laughs> I don't know what I was telling myself in my mind as I was doing this because I, I wished, I wished I wasn't here, but then I enjoyed doing them. I'm only confessing that they're not easy. And so I was motivating myself i was telling myself go ahead and do this there are people who are looking at you and they're getting motivated don't let them down and so i did a number of crunches over here at this tip here and it was a good day generally you can look today i was kind of alone in the field being a sunday most people had gone to church and so i had the field to myself and i was just thinking i hope i'm secure enough i hope nobody will come and grab my my, my tripod and run with it <laughs> There's a lot going on in my mind, okay? There were stairs here and there, people who were passing, crossing the field, going to church, you know. Some people stare at you, some will even stand just looking at you. And I wished I could engage them, but, you know, I only had strength to do what I needed to do at the time, okay? If they had stood long enough, I would have engaged them and talked to them and asked them what they think about physical exercises and whether they enjoy or also participate in them. At this point, I was done, 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 like tired. Oh, God, I was tired. I was telling myself, it's time to go. It's time to go. You better go home and help your child with homework, baby. <laughs> but I said, okay, you know what? I still have a be uh, about 15 minutes. Let me see. Let me see. Let me recollect my strength. Like we say always here in this channel, take as many minutes as you need, okay? Because you're pushing yourself. Don't push yourself, yourself too hard. So I had to do this also, these crunches, you squat, you lift your leg, you squat again. These are also very hard. These things are not easy. 
but they are worth all the strength that you put into it. They are worth all the sacrifices that you put into it, all right? So I was happy that I could do a number of this and uh, it was just going on so well. I couldn't thank God enough for the opportunity. If I remember when I started, I couldn't do more than 10 of this. Now I can do 30 at a go. And to me, that is like, I'm doing it, all right? To me, that's like, I'm doing the thing, all right? I know one day I'll be able to do it better. Before I winded up, I decided, let me do these sitting crunches, which you can also do at home. They are not as tough, but whew, nothing is very simple. It was nice sharing with you my exercises routine for the day. And as usual, I really appreciate your support. If you have any question, any comment, put it at the comment section. I'm going to respond to it. And until we meet again, it's my pleasure showing you what I do for a living in pursuit of good health. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and support this channel. God bless you and I'm going to see you again on another episode. Tell me what you'd like me to share. Anything, ask me anything about my life, my fitness journey. I'm going to respond to you down in the comment section and let's continue reconnecting and doing what's best for our health. Bye and God bless you. Remember to subscribe, baby.